How is everybody doing today? My name is Master Zero and welcome back to another reaction video. This time we are reacting to Do We Need Nuclear Energy to Stop Climate Change by In A Nutshell. Alright, so I know, I know I missed one. I missed the gold one or something to do with like what if the world was covered in gold or something. But that one seems like it's kind of a sillier topic, like not really as important as this video per se but like it's still really really fun and i am gonna watch it eventually but i just saw this one and i'm like okay i have two options and i decided to pick the newest one but uh yeah this is a very interesting topic like do we need nuclear energy like from the i mean it's proof i have it on youtube like i had no idea how uh safe nuclear energy was like from the last video i watched uh in a nutshell talking about nuclear energy like i had no idea it was actually like that reliable and resourceful and stuff like that uh, yeah you have like the ticking time bomb constantly of like what if the actual nuclear power plant blows up but like other than that it seems like a better alternative but like i said in that video there's a good and a bad with everything so yeah i have no idea I mean, it seems like it's a simple question, but usually it's not a simple answer, so <laughs> let's dive into it. So without any further ado, here is Do We Need Nuclear Energy to Stop Climate Change? Do we need nuclear energy to stop climate change? It's a mouthful. More and more voices from science, <clears throat> environmental activists, and the press have been saying so in recent years. Okay. But this comes as a shock to those who are fighting against nuclear energy and the problems that come with it. Yes. So who's right? Well. It's complicated. To slow rapid I was right. Change, <laughs> the the answer is complicated. To greenhouse gas emissions to net zero. In oh. 2018, three quarters okay. of global emissions were released through energy production, namely by burning fossil fuels. Energy is a broad term that describes all sorts of stuff from moving things and people around to putting things big and small together or heating our homes. Yes. Currently, 84% of the world's primary energy comes from fossil fuels, 33% from oil, 27% from coal, and 24% from gas. That's Around it? 10 just 24 for gas? The global oil supply is just used to burn in boilers to make our homes cozy and warm. Okay, but Only do you need to be that close? <laughs> of global energy is from low emission sources, almost 7% from hydroelectric, 5% huh. from solar, wind, bioenergy, wave, okay. tidal, and geothermal combined, and about 4% from nuclear. So we pretty much rely on coal, oil, and gas yeah, to keep our civilization big time. going. Really needs to change, though, guys. It's very hard to transition away from them. To have a chance of escaping fossil fuels without throwing humanity back into the Stone Age, <laughs> one of the most impactful things we can do is to electrify as many sectors as possible. Uh -huh. Electricity is the stuff that appears like magic when you plug something into a socket <laughs> oh, so you can watch YouTube. Magic. Every Shadows die twice. that can switch from burning fossil fuels to electricity needs to do so from electric cars to electric heaters. Uh -huh. Why do we need to bet so hard on electricity? Because we can produce electricity with low emission technologies like solar, wind, or nuclear. There it is. So electricity is a this is like oxygen not included stuff. I love transition. it. But there are a few problems making this transition really hard. It's electric. First That's all, all those Pokemon in, in the background. In the world, electricity is still generated mostly by burning fossil fuels. And not only that, in the last 20 years, the world's electricity usage increased 73% in terms. While we are so installing 19 years. renewables at record speeds, at the same time, the amount of fossil fuel we're burning for electricity still keeps rising year by year. Renewables have so far not been able to catch up with the wow. demand for new electricity, and so despite our progress, emissions from electricity are still rising worldwide. The other alternative to fossil fuels is nuclear, and even though it's not renewable, its greenhouse gas emissions are tiny compared to burning stuff. Yes, that was in the last in the video, last wasn't it? In years, nuclear has basically stagnated. Countries like China, India, and South Korea Woo. built new reactors, while Germany and Japan have been actively taking their nuclear plants offline. Which seems a bit weird if we look at the countries with the most low carbon electricity in the world that get most of their juice mainly from two sources, nuclear or hydropower. Take France and Sweden. 
I in France, France and Sweden. Only around 10% comes from fossil fuels, while 67% comes from nuclear Interesting. and 23% from renewables. Primarily, see, I love these videos. I don't know in any Sweden, of this stuff. Almost 30% comes from nuclear power okay. and about 45% from hydro. So we know that nuclear energy can work at scale. Yes. On the technical side, because of the lack of investment and innovation in the last few decades, yeah, the they need a little update. Nuclear reactors are pretty old technology yeah. that's very costly to replace. In most Western countries, building nuclear reactors has become very expensive for a variety of reasons, like a loss of know-how in constructing them, policy changes, and increased regulatory constraints, so it can take a decade or longer just to finish a power plant. Dang. In contrast, countries like South Korea, China, India, and Russia are able to build new nuclear reactors comparatively quickly and so at many. a competitive cost. It's like a dollar Still, general. Generally in the West, the current generation of nuclear power plants are more expensive to build and maintain than most fossil fuel alternatives. There are also the concerns about Whoa. nuclear waste and the fear Evil. of accidents, but we cover those in other videos in yeah. more detail. That's we the one I was talking designs about. for nuclear I think. reactors that solve many of their problems, namely small reactors that take less time and money to get That's started. That's adorable. There are also next generation technologies that can that was a fire turn waste into new fuel, but so far My these bad. have not been deployed at a scale where they can have a significant impact on the nuclear sector. Considering You're not a fire these engineer, uncertainties, right? some argue that nuclear power is a dangerous relic of the past and that we should just let it go and focus on renewables. But while renewables undoubtedly are the future of electricity, they still have their own huge challenges to overcome before they can take over the vast majority of the electricity grid. The main problem is reliability and yeah. consistency. It's not always That's the thing with everything, though. The sun doesn't always shine, especially in the mornings and evenings when humans need the most electricity. And that's when Republicans make fun the of The variations you. between seasons don't make this issue easier. To make renewables reliable and not risk blackouts, we need massive storage capacities where we can save energy collected yeah. when the sun or wind are at their peak and release it later when we actually need it. Just Until like oxygen not included. Possible. Other sources of electricity need to provide a, a game's teaching me stuff that creates the reliability of supply that our civilization needs to run properly. Yes. Eventually, needs we keyword will be able to needs do this to with run. renewables, but we need a lot of batteries or storage power plants. Just matrix. Right now, Use we people. simply don't have the tech and the capacities to make this transition fast enough to replace fossil fuels. But even if we could, there's another aspect we have to take into account. We're not just trying to kick fossil fuels out of electricity, we're trying to replace energy with electricity. If we're going to electrify sectors that currently use fossil fuels, like cars or heating, we will need significantly more electricity Whoa. than we're currently using everywhere Get around Ant -Man. the world. And Make if it the bigger. electricity needs of the world population continue to grow as they have over the last 20 years, we'll need even more. I don't know if that was a ninja or just a clumsy bird. Thing. Whoa! No energy source is perfect. All have their own unique problems. This is like Power Both Rangers. Renewables and nuclear energy require time, or Captain Planet, I guess, and technological innovation. On their own, neither is ready oh. to remove fossil fuels oh. from our electricity grid. Let's say I want to see a superhero showdown. Both sides claim go, that they go, are. Nuclear. In the end, the question is how we want to deal with all these challenges. <laughs> Windmill scares me. Should we give up nuclear immediately and at least temporarily accept higher emissions? Will we try to extend the life These of questions. nuclear reactors and shut them down afterwards while solving the shortcomings of renewables? Or will we invest in new nuclear technology to get new nuclear reactor types that are cheaper and safer? Or will we maybe do both? He's Opinion asking the right questions here. here. Okay. Considering the risks that climate change poses for the biosphere and humanity, any technology oh, that has cool. a chance of contributing to a solution should yeah, be pursued. There they are again. <laughs> just good risk management and strategy. Well, look how small if he is. If rapid climate change as quickly as possible is our goal, it might nice. be a good idea to see nuclear and renewables not as opponents, That's awesome. but as partners. We know there's no time to waste, so we should keep all of our low emission players on the field. As things are, both nuclear nice. and renewables need innovation and Teamwork. investment. But if we don't know yet which technology will be ready how quickly, why not just invest in both and see what happens? I like and that. And on the topic of current capacities, That's a good idea. 
if we take nuclear energy offline right now, then that missing capacity will be replaced, at least partially, by fossil fuels. Even if new nuclear power plants oh. in the West are expensive, in the long run, it may be cheaper to build them as long as they prevent more fossil fuel capacity being added and paying for the consequences of rapid climate change. Yeah. So, do we need nuclear energy? Well, it really depends how hard we choose to make things for ourselves. Uh -huh. And in a world that's already having a really hard time... Come on, man, we're a swole guy. Fuels, there he is. Why yeah. should we make things harder than necessary? Starting the change process and trying something new is always difficult. Luckily, Very difficult. You don't have to do it all on your and own. And as humans, we tend if to mess up. If you want to get out of a rut, we've got something for you. Tell me, we is it Curiosity Stream? Oh. Skillshare, an online community <laughs> that offers thousands of classes for all I was close. tons of creative disciplines like illustration, animation, or I still want to do video. that. Or you could try a I'm glad I watched these videos because they kind of jaunt my memory. It's like, hey, remember you said you were going to do this? So I was like, yeah. Something for everyone, really. Still don't do it. Unlimited access to all the classes. I really want to, though. Ten dollars a month with an annual premium membership. Come and the first one thousand Kutzkazak viewers to click the link in the description will get a free trial. Since we started working with Tempted. Skillshare, <laughs> you and our viewers have taken over one hundred thousand hours of classes, including Dang. our own free Skillshare classes Good on job, how we guys. make our animations. Oh, if you that's want to cool. learn more about motion graphics, give them a try. And if you need an extra little push to get you P. going, maybe get started with Productive. some sort of motivation and inspiration. That's we nice. The scientific method for artists. Oh, Find get I am an artist. And grow your creative skills by Kendall Hillegas. In this Ooh. class, Kendall explains her four-phase process for exploring and figuring out your direction as an artist. For oh. us, it was a great way to get into the flow of creating something. But anything that makes you feel excited and sparks new ideas Why is go a back great to that. <laughs> if you want to get creative with new skills and support Kotzkazakt, give it a go. I might have to, thank you. Hey, I saw that one. <laughs> Alright, so as always, very insight insightful stuff coming from Kurt's get. Uh, those questions at the end, like, those were the main questions you need to ask, and... I, I'm like I say in a lot of my Kurtz Gat videos and stuff like that. Did I say it right? I think I said it right. But uh, all my other in a nutshell videos and stuff like that, I'm not claiming that I know any of this. Like, I'm not claiming I'm an expert at anything. I just really enjoy these vi videos and like the visuals and the narrator. And it's kind of like taking up really, really, really smart people conversations and kind of like digesting it into bite sized pieces for us. I'm pretty sure I said that in one of my earliest in a nutshell videos but uh yeah i love this channel so much and for me like anybody like not just me like it doesn't have to stop with me but anybody it just to expand your knowledge like little by little watching like stupid i don't want to say stupid they're actually very smart but just watching videos on youtube and stuff like that you could like slowly gain knowledge and stuff like that and yeah it doesn't necessarily have to be like useful stuff but a channel like kurtz to get they're trying to make it to where it is and I really really like that I like it so much and this channel is really awesome and they're doing they're doing good with what they're doing but I love them so much so thank you everybody so much for watching if you like this video feel free to leave a like down below because it makes me feel all warm and fuzzy on the inside and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more awesome videos like this one so with that said I have been Master Zero y'all guys have been fantastic and I'll see y'all in the next episode Lady Day.